Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Foundation. Of course, our town still does not have a name, uh, mainly because if you guys have suggested names, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I'm recording episode 3 before episode 2 has even been released, so that's kind of be how this series works. To me, I'm going to record in sections. Actually, let's see what this envoy is. Well, we don't have fish yet. Um, I'm recording in sections, so like I record 3-4 episodes at a time, upload them all through the week, because I only have two days in a week where I'm actually in the same building where my computer is, so it's just because of my work, and that's just how it is. So I'm trying to do what I can with it. <laughs> but yeah, that, and the same thing goes for everything else that's going with that. But we are back in our lovely little town here. We, our Lord Manor is complete, and it looks lovely. I love it. It actually finished last time, but I didn't actually take time to acknowledge it, but it just looks great. I love it. <laughs> Although it could definitely use a banner there. I do want to save the uh, cloth we have just in case we do need it before we actually can produce our own cloth. We have another villager in our village. Our village is booming with life. And we've actually unlocked a ton of new things in our village. We can actually start doing iron. Actually, in order to do iron, we need to expand to up there or to over there. So we can't do that quite yet. Um, but we can start growing wheat. We can do stone masoning. We actually can do quite a bit. Uh, I think... I'm curious about this potter's kiln. The fish pond would actually be really good, because that way we can start getting fish, although we are pretty close to the water, so I'm not too concerned about that yet. Actually, we are right on the verge of being able to get the fisher set. Sorry, I had to take a really long sip of water. My allergies are really hitting me right now. Don't know why. That's also why I sound kind of stuffy. It slowly developed over the course of the last recording. I don't know why. But today, I think we should start building the church. Although, we do only have one income per day. We're losing a lot of money on trade because we keep buying tools. Alright, that's actually not that significant because once that goes away, we will start making a lot of money again. Yep. So, I think we should build the beginnings of a church. Nothing too fancy. I think we'll do the frontier church just to keep it cheap and simple. Yeah, this guy. Uh, we could do the rustic church. But because we have this modded church, why not, right? So I see a lot of our villages actually expanding out over here. I don't know if that's a good area to build it. Or down here might be another good place. So, uh, maybe like right in here where this bit of tree is. Yeah, let's do it like right here. It's not going to be the most glorious space, but it's going to be a little bit elevated. I love a little bit of an elevation for the church. It's actually a very, very simple building. Um... It's gonna be cheap. You know, I don't I don't want to do this one. As much as I want to do the Frontier Church because it's a modded church, it doesn't give me much options in terms of construction, and I love options when building. I love being able to design my own little builds. Alright, so we'll do the Rustic Church, the classic one. Uh, it's actually gonna cost a lot. Can we... Now I don't want to do it because it's gonna cost so much. Alright, whatever. We're gonna do it. We'll stick through it. We'll build, start building the church right here. It's a lot right off the back. It's actually going to cost us a lot of tools, is the thing. More than anything else, it's just a lot of so many tools. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a lot of tools. And it's going to cost me 39 gold coins a week to have running. Alright, let's 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 look back at this uh, Frontier Church here real quick. <laughs> I want to keep this relatively cheap uh, early on, just so we can start filling the need for faith. Uh, let's see. Frontier Church. It's a very simple build. There's a bee outside my window. Alright, this is a bit cheaper. Uh, cheeks. Significantly cheaper. So we can actually get that down. Cost me five gold coins a week, but I think that's acceptable. This could not be a simpler build. We'll stick this off the back here. Oh, actually, we'll stick it out the front, like that. And then we'll put the door. And a cross up here, and we'll put another cross right here, because why not? So that'll get underway. It's a pretty cheap church. Uh, it's only gonna be able to hold 20 people at a time, so not really enough for a village. But it's better than nothing, right? At least that's what I'm thinking. It's a good place to start. And that's that's what I need with that. Just a place to start. I actually see houses are starting to pop up everywhere, which is really awesome. But we only have one food source, which might become a problem quickly because we are lacking security and fish. So we actually probably want to set up a patrol route that goes through like right here. So let's go to our security guy. 
we'll edit, and we'll build a patrol hut. And we'll actually build it off the side of the manor. Uh, actually, we'll build it right here. Right here seems like a place that would work. And we'll build the patrol points in a way that makes sense in our town, so we'll patrol to here. Uh, to here. And up to here. That way we can get more reports of security. And that should work. So that will get on construction. And should hopefully be good for our village. And then we'll have to assign someone to start patrolling, but nothing too crazy. I think it's just quite literally we aren't producing enough security reports to create enough security and continue on from there. We also have a new villager in our village. That's very exciting. Um, we'll need. We'll probably assign them to security, I think. Uh, next week, we actually begin to be able to upgrade more people. We are lacking housing and security. <laughs> As is... All right, we should actually prioritize that construction of the home instead of the church. But the church is getting built pretty quickly, so it's kind of fine. How many unemployed? We actually have three unemployed people. So what I'm going to do is one of them's going to become a builder. One of them's going to become a... Uh, how are we doing in terms of thatch? 50. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put them. They're planting trees, which is really great. Uh... We need someone to work the patrol route, but we do have a lot of people. Oh, promotion season! <laughs> so, it's only four people, but it's still really good. We have 23 serfs, which means we unlock the new tier of things in estates, which is the Fisher's Hut, which means we can build the Fisher's Hut. I'm also going to just unlock those, because why not? So, the Fisher's Hut would have to come down all the way down here. If I can find it in the list. Here it is. It produces fish. All right, and it can go right there. Downside is it's far away from literally everything else going on in town, which is not going to be great for them. Oh, I did not mean to delete that. What I do want to do is just I want to raise the decoration value a little bit here. And we actually, I think, did unlock the decorative bush. I think I have a mod which might make it a bit strong. Let's see here real quick. Yeah, desirability is very high there now. Um, which is nice and all, but not really what I was going for, but it's fine. I want to install some fencing, because I do love some decorative fencing. Although it's going to cost us an arm and a leg to do this decorative fencing, because each one requires tools. But I want to build some down along this path. Oh, I actually need to hold on shift while placing them, or else they aren't going to work properly. We can actually turn this along here up to the church which is nice and there's still a little path through there to get to and fro although our tools are being eaten through pretty quickly and this i assume is a new house it is oh look at how quickly we are sprawling as a village and more houses i'm sure will pop up back here this fisher's hut is very important let's get this construction underway and let's edit this to add another market stall that will sell fish uh i am curious about this whole hat thing that i saw Actually, I'm going to put this, I think, right here. I want it to not attach. I don't remember how to do that. It's annoying. Come on. Stop it. There. All right. And we'll get another one of these. That's weird. All right. Actually, I can put this one as the open back, so it's not incredibly awkward. Oh, no, it can actually only snap like that if it's the open back. Okay. This doesn't feel right. Uh, let's get rid of that. I can actually turn off snapping, I think. Yeah, T. T toggles it. All right. I can actually place this here. Like that. And then snap that to that. Like that. All right. And we'll get another food sign, because I do love the food signs. And we'll put some barrels right here. We can actually add a couple barrels in the back here, too, because it's a little storage area, right? For the shops. And we can actually put a bench back here, too, for the, like, the employee sitting area sort of thing, right? I think that's going to be nice. Let's start construction. So that's going to get underway, and that's where we'll sell uh, fish, once we have fish to sell. Actually, we'll tell this to store fish. 
I do want to get this built. It's actually under construction now. The path took a very interesting choice, and I think it's because of all the trees. I kind of tried to go around them, but I kind of like it. It kind of looks neat, right? I would like to start growing wheat and maybe look into barley as well. Actually, we're full on uh, food. We, if we could expand to this territory, that'd be nice, but we need just a little bit more money stored up, which we can do here in this extension as a treasury. Part Splendor of One boosts the effects. The Bailiff's Office would be smart. Actually, yeah, we do want the Bailiff's Office. So he's going to live in a little place. That's not great. All right. Happiness is less impacted by 11%. That is the consistency of all of them. You are the youngest, so you would be around for the longest, I assume. That's usually how I think that through. And I want to start prospecting. So let's, yeah, prospect these, because I think that's the direction we're going to move in. And the Fisher's Hut is complete, which means we can assign someone to work there, which means we can transport fish. Oh, I need to assign another person. Uh, we will need to assign a person down there. How many unemployed people do we have? Two, it looks like. Three. Okay. That's something we'll have to fix pretty quick. All right. Hi, Mr. Monk. What can I do for you today? You like wood? All right. Uh, where, where can we send the wood to be happy? Let's send it to the clergy. And we can make that happen pretty much immediately. Still not enough splendor to build that, which I don't think we actually get any splendor out of this church. Probably be smart to switch it out for a rustic church, even though I just built it. It's actually not even done. And none of these provide any script. We're just drawing the frontier church, even though we just spent a lot of materials on it. And I know people are gonna be upset that I just did that. I'm upset that I just did that. And build it, replace it with this one, even though it's a little bit more expensive to operate. I think it'll be wise. So we get that bit there. I would love one of these here. Tower would also probably be smart. I keep it with wood. Go up like that. It seems a little tall. We'll go down with one. It needs a cross. Rotate the tower so it faces like that. Uh, some extensions probably wouldn't hurt. We do need more splendor for it. Uh, these doors actually provide a decent amount of splendor, which is nice, but only so much. We'll put another cross there, because that's pretty cheap. And I would like to add extensions. Give me an extension like that, right there. That's going to actually cost me five tools to build, which is kind of wild. Uh, and we'll build extension... I, I would do one more extension. We'll put one there. And another one there, because why not? And we'll put another cross there, just to raise Splendor a bit. <laughs> Alright. Actually, I think that would be kind of nice. Should put that with a door on the front? What about a door like this? Will that feather? It will. Alright, cool. Let's get building. I'll have seven Splendor, which is good. That's what I need. It will cost me 27 tools, 101 planks. Oh, that's not going to be cheap. All right. This is going to sell fish. And it's going to have this person working there. And the security building has been completed, so it means we can actually assign a patrol. I don't think we need more than one at the moment. That should generate enough security, hopefully. The 10 villagers are lacking faith, so this building you see underway ASAP. Oh, uh, actually, let's prioritize the entire building. Problem is, we do have a link, a lack of planks. So we'll assign another carpenter to work on more planks. Uh, how are we working in terms of, we have one unemployed person. Our happiness is really low due to the lack of clergy. Um, that's definitely something that's underway, but can only be done so quickly because we only have so many planks and it's only so many tools. Let's actually increase the amount of tools we are requesting via trade, temporarily, to 20. Actually, I think that's something that's gonna end up being permanent. Just because then we just have 20 in our inventory all the time and it works out. We actually have a lot of things I will want to obtain in the near future. Uh, what do we buy? From, what can we buy from these guys? Berries? No, we can buy tools, fish, barrels, honey, and glass. We also have these new trade routes down here at the bottom too. Which we'll have to work with in the future. So what are you waiting on? Thatch. We do not currently have enough thatch. We actually have plenty of thatch. We just don't have anywhere to store the thatch. That's effective. So let's build another workhouse. 
warehouse, not workhouse. Warehouse is this one. All right. And people really don't like the workhouse. Workhouse. I keep calling it workhouse. The warehouse. So we'll put it back here. Put it back to back with the other one, kind of like that. That'll get built out of the way. I'm actually gonna prioritize construction of it, just so it starts moving some resources there and gets underway. We do still have a lack of uh, security. I'm wondering if we should assign another patrol. So then there's more people kind of patrolling. We can actually add another patrol point down here by the river. Uh, just to kind of really get things underway. And we have some around town too. Don't think we really need many more than that. Maybe we can put one out here just like that. Cool. So we have more places to patrol. They're actually out. You can see them out on patrol right now. Heading on down to the river. And there we go. Comes and chills a little bit. Just keep an eye on things by the river, grabbing security reports, you know, as they do. So that actually will work out for us. We only have two or three of them, but that's fine. Uh, we do have one unemployed villager. I think we might wait a moment to... Oh, promotion season. All right. So I don't think we're quite ready for commoners because they will require clothes and more diverse types of food and nicer houses. But we can promote people up to serfs and... That should be good. I don't think we're ready for commoners yet. Simply, I mean, look at our money. Villagers leaving due to unhappiness. Like, reasons like that. What were you? I don't even know who you were. I don't know what job is missing an employee. And that might be easier. That might be harder than I'd like to think. The constable actually left. That's interesting. That's not the one I would expect to leave. You don't have a town crier anymore either. Interesting. Okay, happiness is really low due to the lack of faith. I guess they don't have much faith in me. But we have another villager joining the village, so we'll be able to get a new town crier and all will be well. Maybe. We are producing planks as quickly as possible though. It's just really just what we need to get this built because it requires a lot of planks. Really a lot of planks and a lot of tools too. But we do have plenty of tools at the moment, so it should be fine. Maybe. As soon as we can assign a town crier, we will. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We're just kind of waiting on them to arrive, so all could be well. But our village is growing pretty cool, uh, in, in a nice way. I mean, these houses do need to get built soon. <laughs> they have not been started yet. Because most of the resources are being diverted towards the church at the moment. Uh, I can actually change how they ring the bells. That's nice. Like, very specifics of it, too. Ring frequency. That's nice. Oh, we have the new villager, which means we can get the new town crier. Which is very important, because they will start moving security reports around to the constable. The constable to start producing security to be sold in the village to then help increase a little bit more happiness. Our happiness is really low. But the big impact does seem to be from the lack of a church. So they should be underway in all of those endeavors. We will want to store planks, thatch. Anything else here? Anything else that we produce that doesn't currently have a home it goes to? I don't think there's anything else that we do have. So we'll just... We don't actually have anyone to assign. Bailiff is ready for a new mandate. I am not ready for a new mandate. But that's nice. And we did find iron, which is amazing. I think we can actually build that outside of our territory. No, we can't. Never mind. So we'll have to increase our territory up that way soon. But not yet. But soon. The church is actually really making good headway now. You can see it just kind of getting built. Just It's waiting on planks. That's the problem. See down here. I've actually gotten a good amount of planks in. It looks like it's finished a couple of the parts of the building. But it's sadly not built usable until the entire build is complete. And it's a lot of planks that it needs, so. Oh, we have another person joining the village. I don't know why. Village happiness is at 15, but I'm okay with it. I have no complaints. And you're starting to sell security again, although you got sold out immediately. Wow, you guys are really not making any security reports for us. 
I don't really know too about that. <laughs> it's okay. I'll have to figure that out in the near future. Because, yeah, there's only two security reports being created there. I mean, I guess we have a safe village, right? Maybe? I don't know. And that's not the big detraction at the moment. It's more so the lack of housing and the lack of uh, faith that people are struggling with more than anything else. So, which is just waiting on planks and building materials across the board. Actually, we lost one of our builders, too. Apparently, we lost a lot of people. I didn't even notice. It's interesting. Alright, we got a new villager. And we can assign them... Oh, and we wanted to assign them to the warehouse. We have a monk approaching the village. Alright. We actually only have one builder, though. Which is definitely a problem. Because kind of need... Um, well, we need more builders. So more construction is done more quickly. Because... Yeah. But it's fine. Uh, we can actually... We lost another villager. I don't, the problem is I don't even know who they were, where they worked. And it's really hard to figure that out. What was one? I think it was one of the miners. I think. I'm not certain, though. I think it was. And we're also running low on money, and we're losing another villager. And no one's willing to stick around until this is built. Alright, we're going to... Remove you from there to become another construction employee. Did we lose anything that we can't recover from? Yes, the granary. Uh, we're going to get rid of one of the clay diggers. Oh, I guess we lost one of those too. Thought we had to. I think we have enough wood sod. Yes, we do. So I'm going to remove one of you guys. We have a monk here, but I probably can't help you. Oh, we could. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to help right now, because I need to get this fixed up, like, really quickly. So, then we need to assign them to the granary to get things underway. Happiness has gone up a little bit, but that's because the people that were upset left. <laughs> oh, a wave of unhappiness has struck our village, and I don't... Houses are finally getting built, though, because we have two builders, so that should help mitigate some of our problems. We're just kind of waiting on the planks to arrive here, which all might be trapped up in this warehouse, now that I think about it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if that's a thing that happens or not. I don't think it is. I think they can, I think they can go pick up from it, but it's slower. So, we'll see. This has not been the most productive episode. We've actually, I think we've made a couple steps back. We keep making steps back because people keep leaving the village and there's nothing we can do. To, we can only replace so many jobs because we have to move around our villagers and it doesn't work too well. So we move back out of the thatchery, um, the thatcher's yard. Just need to get the faith. We need to get this church built. It's imperative. And I have a feeling that it's waiting on the planks that are in here but it can't get the planks there because they are in there. So, and there's a lot of planks in here too. I think it's right now maybe they're prioritizing the homes. All right, who's leaving now? I wish I could... All right, my one thing I want to know, I want to be able to see in this game, is what their job was when they're leaving. Because that is very important. That way I can properly recover the job. All right, and I think we have leftover thatch somewhere. We do have a lot of thatch somewhere. I think in here. Let's see if it gets picked up or not. Don't know. We'll see. So far, none of that's been grabbed. So, who knows. But once that house is done, everyone's housing needs should be fulfilled. Hopefully. And the church could be prioritized properly. It has gotten a little bit more work done. I can see it there. Just needs that core section, I guess. And it can hold 35 people. But I think on this note, on this little bit of a cliffhanger, I'm going to leave it here. So I'll be seeing you all next time. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>